Hello there, and welcome to this quick tip brought to you by Vector Twist. My name is Mona, and in this video I would like to show you a quick tip how to place an image and how to export a file in different formats. So let's get started. So you might have a favorite image, or you have a logo, or anything you would like to actually place into Adobe Illustrator. Maybe for the purpose of tracing it, recreating it, or just making a brand new artwork. Maybe even you have a sketch, and you would like to actually scan it and then place it in the Illustrator file so you can create line art from it. Now, how can you go about this? This is really simple. All we have to do is go to File, and then we have to go to Place. The shortcut for that is Shift, Command, or Control P, and then you're going to the folder where you have the image that you would like to place. In my example here, I have it on the desktop, and I have an image called Place Image, and this is an image of a card. So first you select it, then you can check the link button here, which means it will link the original file to your Illustrator file, or you can embed it right away if you uncheck the link. I usually leave it open because I don't want to embed it, and then you just click place. Now you can see here with your cursor, you'll get a little icon, and then 1-1. One -one. This simply means that you've selected one file, and that you're going to place it onto your artboard. Now, if you selected maybe more than one file, you would see the number increasing there, and then you can place all of those files. Now, if you want to place your image at 100%, you would just click once on the artboard, and then you can see that it places the image. This is a pretty big image of a Corvette, so it would set it to 100% of the original image. Now, if you want to actually place it smaller, we can do that as well. So let me delete this here, go back to the step file, place, I select my image, I click place, and then instead of just clicking once, I click and hold and then drag. And now I've placed the image, but I didn't place it to 100%. Now here you have the image that you've placed. On top of here, you can see a few buttons. You can embed the image, you can edit the original, and you can live trace it and you can also add a mask. But I won't go into details for this right now. I just wanted to show you how you can place an image onto your artboard. And what if you would like to actually create your own little illustrations, line art, or even live trace the image? How can we export it again and have a JPEG again, a PNG, or any other kind of file? If we go to File, Save As, we can only choose from Adobe Illustrator format, EPS, Illustrator Template, Adobe PDF, and SVG format. Nowhere can I see how I can save it as a JPEG, a PNG, or even other file formats. Well, let me show you how that works. First, I would like to show you a little illustration I've created. Now, let's say you've traced your image, or you've created your own illustration, and now you would like to actually export this as a PNG again. Well, we can do this in Illustrator, of course. All we have to do is go to File, and choose export. In the pop-up window, of course, we can save as, and then we have the name, and down here in the format section, you can actually choose different formats. The first one that's chosen here is PNG format, which would be great for our little illustration, but you can also choose other formats. You have a large list of formats that you can choose from, from JPEG to Photoshop, TIFF, text format, SVG again, and so forth. Now let's say we want to actually export it as a PNG, so let me call it Corvette, and then I click Export. Now we'll get another pop-up. Here we have the PNG options. We can change the resolution, either for screen, medium, or high, high you would use if you want to print something. Then we have anti-aliasing, I always leave as is. And then we can choose background. We can either set it as a transparent background, white, or black, or even other. This is totally up to you, I'm going to leave it as transparent for now. So I click OK, and then it will export it as a PNG. Now if I go back to File, Place, and then I choose the file that I've just exported, called the Corvette PNG. Now I say Place it. I get my thumbnail again. If I want to set it as 100%, I just click once. And there you can see I have placed my illustration that I've created, but exported as a PNG. And this is it. I hope it makes a little bit more sense how you can place images on your artboard here in Illustrator CC 
and how to export a file in a different format than an Illustrator file or PDF. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and also make sure to check out betthetwist.com and I hope to see you soon.